Hey guys, it's TechieFan2009 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing my Techie Toys uh, 2011, but mine's 2014, Harvester. This prop, as I just stated, came out in 2011. It was, I believe, 100 bucks back then, and then continually it got raised 10 bucks each time it was brought back. Uh, he was there for 2011, 2012, online only in 2013, and then came back for the 2014 season and the Ruins theme. Which, honestly, I think that was a pretty fitting theme for him to come back in. 2013 really did not have much of anything that could have fit him. It was the Clown Train, the Haunted Mansion, and then the Asylum. Y you could probably, like, make a stretch and put him in the, the Haunted Mansion, but I'm kind of glad they didn't. Anyway... Um, yeah, he, uh, what, he came out the same year that, uh, G -G 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 Gravedigger did, and then the next year after that, they came out with Graveyard Ghoul, who was just a reskin of this guy, with the same phrases, albeit a better speaker, because I think that one had, that one, since that one had a bass, the speaker was in the bass instead of in the chest on, uh, Harvester, uh, same with Gravedigger, although he obviously had different phrases, or, well, a different phrase, because he only had one for some reason. He hangs on a wall, and or you can stake him into the ground. I have some of his stakes, but I don't have the bottom one. But it, it's not that really, it's not really that hard to replace. Uh, he is sound and motion activated, because, you know, old techie. I'm not sure if mine has the foot pad jack or the adapt or, or the, the harness. I think it has the jack, though, although I, I, I've never run him on a on foot pad yet just because I, I i haven't really had the need to uh his arms are posable you could i i had to pose mine down a ton because they were covering his face and you can pose him holding his little scythe in uh pretty much any way you want he's a little cramped where he is right now but that's he's honestly i, I really like him here <laughs> i think he looks really cool here uh behind zoltan and the old imac and, uh, yeah, he is not terribly big, but I still, I still love this prop, honestly. He's got, he, he was one of the first to use the, um, the classic techie head go down, head go up, head turn side to side, and mouth move mechanism. You know, it was used on everything for a while. It was used on him, Graveyard Ghoul, Grave Digger, um, fucking... Possessed Wall Hanger, Rosemary, Limb Eating Zombie Boy, uh, Mean Old Gramps, who I still also really want, and uh, I think probably a couple others. Um, honestly, I, I, I think that I, I'm not mad at them reusing the mechanism. They reused it in pretty creative ways, and I enjoyed it. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, I got this one in particular from my husband Ryan's Haunts. I traded him for Thrashing Clown, which some people may say that since, yeah, Harvester was sold a bunch more years, he is less valuable objectively than Thrashing. But honestly, I kind of like Harvester better than Thrashing. I don't know. I just always have had a thing for his sayings, dude. They are fucking awesome, honestly. That combined with the background music is fantastic. Although this shitty speaker doesn't really add much to that. Here's his box. I have the box. His is in... It was in pre it's in pretty good shape except since he packed it with a duct tape for some reason. Um it kind of got a little ripped up, but I don't really care. Um yeah, head to head lifts and turn side to side, moving mouth, sinister sayings, life-sized. He's about 6 feet tall if you stake him into the ground and uh I think where I have him hanging, he's about like I'd say good like 6-5. Uh Hang on a door or stake in the ground. Sound, timer, or foot pad activated. Oh yeah, the, he, he has those timers. I think his goes off like every 2 minutes and 30 seconds or so. And he can run on... A, he can run on batteries or he can run on the 6-volt uh, 2-amp. Here's the side. Glowing eyes, sinister sayings. Hang on door or stake in the ground. And then it's just, it's just the same all around. But yeah. His box is surprisingly small. I mean, to be fair, it's not like he has much of a structure to pack, so it makes sense why it's fairly small. Um, yeah, I think that's really about it with the talking segment, so I will uh, plug him in, and he's on. He sh he'll be on sensor, so he'll immediately activate because techie.
Mine's head lifts and drops a lot quicker than others I've seen. Um, he's pretty durable, honestly. Like, he, there's not really that much that can break on him. He, he's he's pretty well built, surprisingly. Uh, his mechanism is pretty... He, he, it's fairly good. He's one of the better ones with this mech. There are some that are a little iffy sometimes. Like, Limiting Zombie Boy, I know, tends to have a lot of relay issues. Uh, but at Harvester, he, he's pretty well built in the mech department. Uh, I just kind of wish his speaker were a bit better because, uh, damn, it's not good. Also, he never had volume control, despite being made well into the time when Techie began producing their products with volume control. He never got one added to him, which, yeah, I don't really care. That phrase gives me actual, like, shivers, dude. I don't know. Something about the end of that phrase, the way he says, I am the harvester of souls, prepare to meet your maker, that, combined with the dastardly laugh and the classic techie stock sound effects, dude, oh my god, is a fantastic, just, mmm. This guy's audio is absolutely immaculate. I love it so much. Um... Yeah, that's really about it about him. Oh, also, his motion sensor is on his hat. It's obviously one of those little shitty light sensors. Honestly, I don't even know if mine works. I never really bothered to test it. Uh, he, he has the sound sensor, so it's not really required. Also, weird thing about him, most techie items from this general point in time, uh, if they had a moving mouth, their faces would be vinyl a lot of the times. It, it would be the the, the quote-unquote latex, where it feels kind of shitty, but it still serves the same purpose. Uh, surprisingly, despite this guy being one of the ones that, you know, isn't an actual human and doesn't have actual skin, his face is actually real latex. Uh, it's very strange that they chose to make it on him. I'm not sure if it's uh, latex on Gravedigger. I think it might be on Creepy Caretaker. I don't know. I used to have him, but I have not uh, felt him up in a very long time because I sold him, like, I don't know, a year ago. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, it's just odd to me that they chose latex for him. Fuck's sake. in my opinion, mainly because of his phrases and movements. Um, he, he's pretty versatile in terms of theming. I, obviously, with the exceptions being like, you, you can't really put him in a fucking circus. Uh, for my haunt, I do plan on putting him in the front yard near the graveyard uh, next to the Home Depot Harvester, the SVI one that's just the Cornstalker reskin. But, yeah. He's honestly really fucking cool. I love this guy a lot. I'm very happy that I traded Thrashing for him because, I don't know, his phrases I just love so much. Also, he's very easy to store and display, so that's always a nice little plus. He's got a metal hook on his back that you can hook out of the wall or a door. He's not particularly heavy, so he can pretty much hang from anything, although don't put him on like a, a command strip. I have him hanging on a massive screw that's been in the wall since we moved into this house. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'll probably let his uh, other phrase replay one more time, more zoomed in onto his face. Definitely recommend this guy. Pick one up if you can. He's not particularly hard to find. Uh, he's not like one of those ones that's everywhere, but he's not rare by any means. You can definitely find one. Uh, there isn't really much differences between the year models, although the 2014 ones did have a slightly better mouth mechanism, uh, so that usually on the 2014 ones, the mouth will close more than the, like, earlier models. And although mine does not follow that path at all, I have a 2014 model, and his mouth very much does not close all the way. But I could not give any less shits than I do. Anyway, and that's about it for this guy. Uh, this has been uh, Techie Fan 2009 here. And, um... Um,